Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the CSA NET examination. Today we will discuss about the question ID 300 related to the quadratic form with the help of shortcut tricks. Myself Dr. Gar, you can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Gar, where you can find the various lectures related to the CSA NET previous year papers. You can simply follow my playlist CSA UGC NET examination. So let's start with this one. What is the question ID? This is the part part one so there is only one correct option is given to you and it is related to the quadratic form and if you look about the options are there they are talking about the positive definite positive positive and positive definite so let me tell you firstly what is the meaning you can solve this question within a 15 second there is there is no big problem about that but i will tell you the simple some tips which may helpful for you in your future examination in this question they are talking about the positive definite but what will happen if they are talking about the negative def negative definite how you can approach them firstly any of the matrix a whose eigen values are my greater than zero that's all are my positive then we will call as the positive definite but if you look about this the matrix a is not given to you then the other method is what you can do if you consider this matrix a say a b c d e f g h i Although it is given to you as a symmetric, but I will tell you in journal. So when it's said to be the positive definite, when the first diagonal entry, that is the A, is my greater than zero, then you consider that second diagonal entries, two diagonal entries, that is my A, B, D, and E, that is a determinant of this is a positive, and the last one is the complete three diagonal entries elements are there. It is a positive. On the other end, when it's said to be the negative definite, when it's said to be the negative definite, when the first diagonal entry is less than zero, second one is greater than zero, third one is less than zero, means alternating sign B. But make sure that alternating sign start with the negative sign B. Then you can say is a negative definite. Fine, that is a simple rule behind that. Now, how you can approach this question? Remember, our target always you have to discard the options not for getting the correct answer Sadia. look at that if we start from the fourth option if aij is my greater than zero so if i consider the three cross three the diagonal entries are my positive so i consider this as my positive then it is a positive definite it means it satisfies these three properties so the first property is satisfied can you think about these two numbers in such a way that this property is discard Yes, you can do that. You can simply take this number as a 4. Because of the symmetric, this number is, is also be a 4. So what is that? You can see that it's a 2 minus 16, which is not greater than 0. It means, and rest of the number you can think about here. So it means this is a symmetric matrix, but this AIJ is my positive, but it is not a positive definite. So this option is cancelled out. Similarly, if you look about this third option, that is my a i j is positive so there is no restriction on the diagonal if you consider the first element as a negative the first property not satisfied because there is no restriction on the a i i so it means this is also not the that is not also the positive definite look about the first option it is given that it's a positive definite it means if you consider this any of the matrix it is given that it's a positive definite it means the first element must be the positive value Okay, so uh, what I can do is instead of the one, you can consider any of the numbers, say four, five, six, and this property also satisfied. Then a i j is always with a positive. Can you think about any of these two numbers? If I consider this as a zero zero, can you think any of these two numbers such that this second property is still valid? Yes, you can do. If you consider both as the positive then this property is satisfied. Can it be possible like this way? If I consider it's a minus one, this has a minus one. Can it be positive? Yes, because you can see the first property satisfied. Next one is 20 minus one, which is also satisfied. The third property is a determinant of this. That's also be a greater than zero. So all these properties satisfied, but this look at that AIJ is less than zero. It means this option is also cancel out. Now look about this fourth option, it means this is the right answer, but how you can approach them? You can see again, what is given to you? This is a positive definite, it's given to you. You have to choose the diagonal entries as the positive always. So let's say it's a four, it's a five, it's a six. So now 
if I consider these two numbers as a zero. Can you think any of these two numbers? Remember that it's a symmetric, so it means either it's always the positive, say a and a. So what will happen is a 20 minus a square is always greater than zero. Okay, because it is given to you as a positive definite. So it means it can never be less than zero. So you can choose either a as a negative or a as a positive. There is no restriction on this R there. So that means this is my, here is the right answer. Remember, it is given you that it's a positive definite. It means this property already hold. So you can choose either as a, a negative. You can't choose, it means a square must be less than of the 20. So that means a is less than of the here. You can't choose more than of the a. Either you can choose a as a negative, then still it will be there. Or you can take as a positive, it still be there. It means the right answer is my B is the correct option. So I hope you can see, and if it is a negative definite, you can try to solve it by the alternating signs options are. So I hope this is the way you can solve it. If you are talking about the eigenvalue, then it will be of the plus minus are there. Then it is called as the negative definite. Sir. I hope you can simply learn this one. We will see the next lecture on the linear algebra questions. And you can simply follow my YouTube channel and the playlist this one. I hope you can like, share and comment my this lecture too. Thank you very much. Best of luck.